I don't know. Seriously, what's supposed to happen? Hello, folks. Watch this. What are you doing? Science. That's not science. This is science. What is this? As y'all seen in some of our previous videos, we have a breeding pair of Oscars, uh, freshwater fish. And a few months ago, they laid eggs. And then those eggs hatched. Then we moved them into their own aquarium. And wouldn't you know it, they all died. It was suggested to me that the problem could have been they weren't going after the food that I was feeding them because it wasn't live food. It was just uh, like real, real small granular fish food for baby fish. But uh, since they're predator fish, um, I was told that if you feed them something live that moves and they'll chase it and go after it. So I went to our tropical fish store in the area and I bought this brine shrimp hatchery kit. So we are going to do a little science experiment and see if we can't hatch us some shrimp to feed our baby fish. But how long does it take for the shrimp to hatch? I said that you can do it in 24 hours. Ooh, nice. How long is 24 hours? A whole day. A whole day. A whole thousand Wait, years. Technically, you'd have to start at the beginning of the day and then wait till the very end. You have to wait a bit more. Well, you don't have to just brine shrimp. Well, then it will be plus the rest of the outside. Okay, you hold that. Okay, so this thing comes with the little... Eggs. The little thing. You have to get a two liter bottle to screw into this, and that's where the water is. Um, I do need to go grab an extra aerator. It requires that. Let's see. I bought an aerator with something that Murray put around its scales. <laughs> I've seen it in a movie once. I don't. I think you're wrong. <laughs> so we've got. <laughs> what? We've got some mermaid eggs. Yay! I mean, <laughs> we've got some brine shrimp eggs and salt <coughs> mixed in this package. We actually have three packages of that. So I don't know if we need to use all three. Let's see here. Setting up the hatchery. Take a two liter soda bottle and cut off the bottom of the bottle. Ooh. Turn the bottle upside down and screw it into the hatchery base. Attach one end of the airline tubing. Um, of the airline tubing to the bottom of the base and the other end to an air pump, which I'll grab here in a minute. So I dug through my aquarium stuff and I found my extra aerator. I've got AquaSafe, which gets rid of uh, chlorine. Works in seconds. Makes, yeah, makes water safe for fish. The chlorinator, extra right there. Proper pH, 8.2, which is where it needs to be. Fill the bottle with one liter, about half full, of dechlorinated water. Plug in air pump to start aeration. Okay. Add one packet of hatch mix. Mommy, is it okay if we do this on the countertop, like leave it on the countertop? If we're not for like 36 hours? This is going to be vibrating, so it might be a little annoying. But... Mm, okay. It's going to be Okay. Come I here, buddy. I'm going to fish 
juice. I mean, juice. Um, what is it? Here, move your orange juice over here. Here's three packs. Miss. Hey guys, so it's been about 36 hours on our uh, brine shrimp hatch and we are about to harvest some and we're gonna go feed them to our baby Oscars. I know my aquarium's a little low on water. I'll take care of that. But I'm gonna put some of this brine shrimp in here with my bigger fish just to see. I wanna see the fringe. 